A solar eclipse set to be visible in Central Oregon in 2023 is already catching the attention of tourism and hospitality groups in Deschutes County. Noah Chast explains why Sun River and Lapine expect big crowds and the concerns they have. The Lapine Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center is expecting an abnormal jump in tourists in about a year and a half. It's going to be a challenge, that's for sure. The reason for the challenge? An annular solar eclipse that's projected to be extremely visible in Southern Oregon on October 14, 2023. Experts predict the path to be just south of Bend. Events like this, where the moon covers the sun's center, attracts thousands of people from all over the world. If you read, it's an annular e right. eclipse as opposed to a total eclipse. So, you know, <laughs> whether that makes a difference to, you know, the people that follow those things around the world, I don't know. Executive Director Ann Gaywith recalls the last solar eclipse that was visible on the northern end of Central Oregon. It brought a ton of business to gas stations and restaurants in the area, especially when the highway backed up once it was over. Immediately after the eclipse, everybody left town at the same time. For this eclipse, Gaywith is expecting more people in Lapine staying wherever they can fit. We don't have a wealth of motel rooms or RV spaces right in Lapine. We will be impacted. People are going to be in the woods is what's going to happen. Sun River Resort tells me for that week, it has 40 to 50 more rooms booked than it normally would this far out, with no conferences or events planned. While a lot to manage, Gaywith thinks the eclipse could be good for Lapine. They'll uh, hopefully say to themselves, gee, that was a great little town. We ought to come back here next year when it's not so crowded. She does worry about the weather with the risk of wildfires and early snow, but she believes Lapine can handle it. But we'll be prepared. We've got great staff and we're used to dealing with people and we'll just deal with it. <laughs> In Lapine, Noah Chast, News Channel 21.